afternoon, I'm Pamela Van Meer, Kawartha 411 News, and this is your 5 at 5.30. Your top news headlines from in and around the City of Kawartha Lakes for Wednesday, September 30th, sponsored by Income Tax Plus and Lindsay, family owned and operated since 1988. Another big pot bust in the City of Kawartha Lakes this afternoon. It happened at approximately 1.45 when a number of OPP officers descended on a property on County Road 8 just outside of Fenland Falls. Neighbors say it appears six to eight greenhouses full of the plant were removed from the property. A tractor was used to load it into a gravel truck and that was later escorted from the property via an OPP vehicle. The police say they will have more information on this tomorrow. The Ross Memorial Hospital COVID-19 Assessment Center continues to be extremely busy and that prompted officials to introduce a by appointment only model as of Monday, October 5th. Starting on October 1st, you can request an appointment by calling 705-328-6217. Phone lines will be monitored between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. You can also book an appointment online at rmh.org. Appointments will be available Monday to Friday from 9.30 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. For more information on this, you can go to our website, kawartha411.ca. A Lindsay man is facing charges of threatening a Canadian Member of Parliament. Police say on September 28th, the RCMP contacted Kawartha Lakes Police Service to share information about a Lindsay resident who was alleged to have made threats online to cause harm to an MP. The Kawartha Lakes Police Service Criminal Investigations Branch took over and on September 29th, a 42-year-old man from Lindsay was arrested and charged with threatening to commit an offence against an internationally protected person and uttering a threat to cause bodily harm. Neither name was released. Fenland Falls has hay fever. Hay fever is a community building event where groups, employees and co-workers or families got together to build hay sculptures in town to create some festive fall color. It's a COVID friendly event and it enabled workers to decorate the community for fall all while staying safe and social distancing. You can check out the sculptures at seven different locations including Timberfell, Highlands Propane, the Trent Severn Waterway Island, the Chamber, Barn and Bunky, Cornerstone Furnishings and Sobies until October 14th. It's time now to take a look at the weather. Our weather is sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincom Plus Realty and Lindsay, a team that'll get your home sold. Ominous looking clouds over Bob Cajun earlier today. We are looking at a risk of a thunderstorm early this evening for Thursday, October 1st, mainly cloudy with a 60% chance of showers with a high of 15 and a low down to 6 overnight. On Friday, a mix of sun and cloud with a 30% chance of showers and a high of 11, a low down to plus 1 throughout the night. And on Saturday, a mix of sun and cloud with a 30% chance of showers, a high of 11, and a low near 0 overnight. That's your weather, sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincom Plus Realty, and Lindsay. That's your news for Wednesday, September 30th. For a look at all of the day's news in depth, you can go to our website, kawartha411.ca. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.